and Justin are back now with ways to incorporate that retro look into your home. And there's, it can be as easy as getting the accessories that remind you of that era that you love. It can right? be. We talked about the whole rest, uh, retro rustic revival in our first segment. So everything that we've done here references that and is really kind of a, an easy illustration for, for putting the look together. Now, I love this. I actually can't get enough of this chair. Mm -hmm. It's cowhide. <laughs> it's completely... Can I sit on it? Yeah, sit on I, it. I've not been slimming lately, so there could be some type of problem. It's so comfy, Tracy, I can hardly tell you. It's on that lovely sling, yes. so it really moves with you. Comfortable, the kind of thing that you'd find at the cottage. Do you know, it's funny, in days gone by, the cottage was the place where furniture went on holiday to die. That's true. All the old stuff that hated your basement suddenly made it to the cottage. Yes. Now, however, cottaging is far, far cooler. Yes. And there's so much amazing stuff out in the high street. So go out there and start shopping. Love all of this, the bread baskets, the mirrors, all this detail really takes you right back. Uh, I want to mention, it's probably faux. The chair's faux, right? It is faux, 100% right? faux. So uh, you can get all of that rustic design and detail without having to, you know, go out there and hunt anything. Oh, no, yeah. we're not saying that you... You're not going to get your blunderbuss out and take it out to the yard and suddenly start shooting animals as they randomly pass. The local dog or cat. Yeah, exactly. No, you're going to be much we more don't need respectful to do that. of no. the environment. You're going to fake it till you make it. You That's are. right. Like, the old signs, you know, they're great for that whole retro look as well. You know, rust is your best friend. I love a bit of rust. Yes. Uh, you know, you want it to look really old and beaten up. You know, lots of great old signs like this. We love the ones that purport to food. You know, dinner this way, diner, all of yes. that kind of thing. If you can get old brands as well and hang them on the wall. It's a really good look and there's great really? reproductions out there. Okay, so let's talk um, about some of the lighting options you have um, as well as some of the things you might want in the kitchen. So that's a cool retro light. I love this. Now this is a really clever lamp because you can use it as a ceiling lamp over oh, a counter nice. or you can hold it this way, plug it into the wall with an adapter plug cool. and use it as a side lamp. So double bubble. Yeah. If we can find something that you can use twice, you know, hang it up, put it down there, then we're really happy. And galvanized metal Mm -hmm. is a really big trend. We've talked about this, I think, Tracy, on City Line before, but galvanized metal really takes you back to those days. Do you remember the sets we had coffee, tea, and yes. sugar? Yeah. Coffee, tea, sugar, that kind of thing. I really like that. Yeah, Anything like that feels kind of familial, that doesn't feel too mass market, doesn't feel too produced, right. that's the kind of thing that you want to do when you're doing your retro rustic revival, your RRR. RRR. R -R -R. R -R -R. Now it'll be like flaxseed, quinoa. It will be. Oh, I know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Kale no, chips. Happy. Yeah, kale <laughs> chips. <laughs> yeah. God, things really do change, They've don't changed. they? <laughs> and, you know, mirrors are a big part of this look as well. You know, yes. and you know, mirrors are your best friend because they're great at bouncing light around. You spend enough time looking at them, Colin, well, for the love exactly. of goodness. <laughs> Holy moly. That's why he looks so exactly. good. Yeah. I walk up like this. Well, maybe if you had a mirror, you wouldn't splash all over yourself. Can you see that? Burn. I already had a little accident before it came out. Look at that. <laughs> uh, you know, mirrors are great. And, you know, if you can get something that's got that wonderful kind of like metallic detail, something that feels truly like three dimensional. Mm -hmm. It's really 50s, you know, you can imagine a pair of them at either side of a bed, oh, you know, yeah. just in front of your bedside companions. Yes. The lamp in front, bouncing light, double duty would be fantastic. Uh, mirrors from Amazon, so you can get that everywhere. Oh, beautiful. Cute, really nice. Now, the, at the front there, Tracy, we've yeah. got this Pendleton blanket-inspired cross-frame footstool. Oh, that's now, gorgeous. Isn't that great? Now, the yeah. Pendleton blanket, I think we all associate, it's a lovely classic North American staple, mm -hmm. and we all associate it with time at the lake or at the cottage or the cabin or wherever. Mm -hmm. So taking that kind of emblem and turning it into the top for a lovely stool like that, I just love that. Again, it's about building atmosphere. I think the best interior design schemes are the ones that really kind of expound atmosphere. If it looks too flat and one-dimensional and too contrived, then it's not going to work. Not work. But stuff like this, again, it speaks to that whole kind of campsite ideology, yes. going back to the rustic family resorts, all of that that we talked about earlier. Gorgeous. And same with the art. Same with the art as well. You know, that's the thing you can bring this into the city. You don't yes. have to be in the middle of nowhere because you can use artwork to suggest, you know, that wonderful escapism. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what this look is all about. You know, I like design that takes you somewhere. You know, you're on your travels and it feels really escapist, really evocative. Like these arrows as well. I mean, that is just one of those things. You remember those diner signs? Yeah. <laughs> love it. <laughs> I mean, I just <laughs> love that. You could use this on your dating profile. This is where you go. It's a good look. Uh, <laughs> and these pretty. Now, there's no rhyme or reason to have a propeller in your cottage other than the reason that I'm going to give you because okay. it's cute. Okay? It's so cute. It also doubles up as a rather natty bow tie. Oh, it's Should lovely. you want some sartorial input. But again, I think anything that suggests that you have a little inventory of things that you've collected from, yeah. I don't know, old stores and junk stores and markets. And these are the kind of things that you do 
do find, this is obviously a new production, but it speaks to that lovely kind of period, the old days of rustic retreats where you would seek decompression from an ever faster spinning <laughs> world. That's what we do, Tracy. Right. We will give you a slower pace of life where you're going to strip back all the kind of the, the crazy city stuff and really settle back oh. down. Oh my goodness, I feel, oh, the like, depth. I feel, the I feel depth waves of calm oozing <laughs> over me. Oh. Oozing, oh. Oozing. Oh. oozing. There is something about it. There is something about the simplicity of it all. Hello. <laughs> and that's what this is all about. And, and helping you to do that because not everyone can go antiquing every weekend. So this is your way of sort of mixing the real old with the faux old. Exactly. Um, and still getting that break. Thank you so much to uh, HomeSense for all of these incredible uh, accessories. They are lovely.